everybody, and thanks for joining us for another Whitfield's Food Review. Today we are here at McDonald's to try their brand new bacon smokehouse burger. Let's see, it features fresh beef patties, applewood smoked bacon, sweet and smoky bacon onion sauce, crispy fried onion strings, white cheddar cheese, and a mild sweet mustard sauce. Now that's a mouthful, just like this burger's gonna be. <laughs> anyway, we got the double variety because we've never had their uh, never frozen beef before. Their whole new big spiel they got going on. We've never had that. And we also did this in celebration of the fact that we were on the new documentary, uh, McDonald's, the Big Mac, 50 Years of Secrets. I don't know what it's called. <laughs> I'll flash it on the screen. Yes, that. So we got to be on that along with number six with cheese. So here's a clip from that. Hello, this is another Whitfield Food Review. These guys, international food vloggers, get thousands of online hits. And there's nothing they love reviewing more than this. Wasn't that exciting? So we will splice in pieces of the documentary we're in about McDonald's while we review new McDonald's. So I don't know about you, but I'm hungry. Let's eat. Some good pickles. That's pretty big. Then cheese. It's like literally buns were just like slip sliding off. Never mind the giant thumbprint on top, just from simply holding it. At least that's from us. Because that'd be a little <laughs> disturbing to get that. All right. So there's a whole lot I've going on there. I've never even had a quarter pounder before, to be honest, I don't think. You probably haven't. I certainly haven't had a double. Okay. So Jen's first double quarter pounder. Did you get a little bit of everything in there? I think so. The first thing you taste is that. That jam. I can smell it. Jam stuff. It's kind of sweet. The uh -huh. beef is pretty good. I mean, I, I think I do taste different, so I want to see what you think. It has more of a. Um, Beef. Like a real burger place, you know, like good burger. It's very good. I'm sure, McDonald's will love that description. Well, it tastes yeah. more like a burger place well, now. Know, it definitely does taste different. The bacon is good, crispy. I, the only thing I didn't really get is the mustard. There's a lot of accoutrements on there, though. But it's 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 different for it, McDonald's, I think. I think it's a step up. Sandwich thing. I'm trying to get. I'm you are in darkness again. So I'm gonna try to get, I'm gonna take a big old monster bite because I want a little bit of everything because that's the way I think it's meant to be. So, ah. Mm. What is that, Jam? Is it bacon? It is smoky bacon onion sauce. That smoky bacon onion sauce? <clears throat> First thing you taste. It is good though. Honestly, without that, I don't think this would have been anything fancy at all. It would have been like a big old honking double burger. That smoky bacon onion thing really sets it aside. And actually, it almost has like a barbecue quality to it. The bacon itself, actually pretty good. I didn't taste the onion ring either. And I did get it, I just didn't taste it. Got a little overwhelmed by that bacon jam. Ooh, that's good with the mustard though. It did appear to have quite a bit of that mustard on it, but that, if there was even more of it, that, that vinegar would cut right through the sweetness of that jam, and I think it would really add to it. Maybe I just didn't get a bite with a lot of mustard. Because look, there's quite a bit of mustard on there. Yeah. It just, it's, that, that jam is really sweet. Now the burger itself, you know what? I do think I taste a difference. I taste a it, difference. It tastes significantly better, actually. Who knew? Burger's nothing without fries. Here to review McDonald's standard right, classic. I think I'm ready. Never don't eat a handful of them at once. They are salty. Thin and salty and delicious. I do not know what magic dust they sprinkle on these other than salt. Yeah, five. Five out of five. Two more. Boom, 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 boom. Now, if you give me a blind taste test on this one, because to me, the bun is a dead giveaway of who this is, I don't necessarily think I would have known who this was. Do you think you would have? It doesn't really have that McDonald's taste. It doesn't, for good or bad. It's nice to have the option to get something that tastes completely different than what McDonald's usually has. 
I like it. Price is kind of high, but it's a tasty burger, that bacon jam. I've never tasted anything like that at McDonald's. I get you're having a little bite of history. McNews is the creator of the Chicken McNugget. They're crispy, they're crunchy. Are you trying to punch so hard through that? Well, I like to sauce you're... it up. I think they're very tasty. I think they taste good, but I can tell the difference. It's like the state of Louisiana. So anyway, guys, there is the smoky bacon. I don't know what the... So there you go, guys. That was the McDonald's Smokehouse Bacon Burger and their new um, Never Frozen Beef. So, Jen, what are you going to give this burger that I refuse to say again? It's like Baltimore now. It's the name that shall never be spoken. 4.5 out of 5. Why? Because the burger tastes really good and the tell there is a difference from the frozen, from it not being frozen. Um, tasted higher quality. The bacon was really good. The mustard. Uh, I don't know. I'm giving it a four out of five. The reason why is I am taking price point in consideration because it is very expensive for a McDonald's. In fact, I swear it probably is the most expensive burger that's ever been on here. But while it does not have that iconic McDonald's burger flavor that you, a lot of people probably come to McDonald's for, it is something completely different and it does raise your game a bit. The star of the show for me was the bacon jam. She thought it was a little, little sweet, a little overbearing, but I thought as long as you got a bit of that vinegar and that mustard, it cut down. I didn't taste the bacon very much, I didn't taste the cheese very much, and I didn't taste the onion ring at all. I really liked it. I really could tell a difference of the beef. I was surprised. I didn't think I was gonna be able to tell at all the difference between the new beef and the old beef. So anyway, guys, that's what we think. Let's know what you think. Are you gonna run out and get this right now? Or is this a little too expensive for a McDonald's burger for you? Or are you like, if I'm gonna spend $8, I'm gonna go where? If Okay, that's my question to you guys. If you're gonna spend $8 on a burger, where are you gonna go? Put, put that down in word format and sentences and in the comments below and we can communicate. That's how it works. So please like, comment, subscribe, and all the other stuff. Also, this video is going to be up, not this exact one. We did a second review of this one exclusively Makes no sense because it's on two places. Can't be really considered exclusive. But we did a second review of this on Instagram TV. We just started our Instagram TV channel or whatever the hell they call it. So here, here, look right here. This is where you can find us on Instagram TV. I think it's just Whitfield's Food Review probably. So check out Whitfield's Food Review on Instagram TV. A lot of YouTubers are jumping ship. We're not jumping ship. We're just going to be straddling them for now because YouTube's being real goofy and not sending out notifications and payments and it's just not good. So just, just a good idea to have our, have our uh, hand in a, another cookie jar if we can. Also, if you like to support us on Patreon, here's our Patreon. I'm changing the tiers a little bit on Patreon. For $1 a month, your name will be in the thank yous at the end credits of every single video. I just think that's kind of cool and it's a fun way to just let you guys know we really appreciate it, even just as low as a dollar. And of course, there's different tiers for different prices. And um, I have some other really cool ideas. But Patreon's just a really cool way for you guys to support the channel and also it lets us know every month that we have X amount of money coming in that goes right back into the channel and into some of the ideas we have of recipes and reviews and things like that. So anyway guys, please follow us on all these things here, that way you can be kept up to date on everything we're doing because otherwise you're not going to know. So thank you guys for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe, and all that stuff that everyone else asks you to do because I guess it's important. So until next time. And as always, life short. Eat hard. Wild caught Alaskan pollock. It's kind of dry. This is a staple of my Lent experience. Fish with cheese. That's odd, right? Yeah, this is still dead laugh. Yeah.